Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, we did the red head. We're going to do a blue head today. Master. Stay tuned. Coffee sponsor of today is Alan. Alan writes, Hi from the UK. Great to see all your content, both informative and enjoyable. Thank you. Best wishes, Alan. Oh, thank you, Alan. Thank you for my uh, piping hot dark roast this morning. Uh, if you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. You want to just support the channel? Super thanks is the way. Link is below. Thank you guys so, so much. All right, guys. So this, this, from my buddy uh, Gordon, Golden State Tennis Shop. The ball was in. You cannot be serious. You cannot be serious. The ball hit the paint. Paint flew up. Did you not see that? Are you blind? You need an eye doctor. You cannot be serious. Oh, wait. I have swing vision. The ball is in. AMF head, really, really great condition cover, really, really small cover. And we got, I guess they call this the blue head. Um, real name is Head Master. Um, I've seen where some places called it the blue head master which is a very, very accurate name for this racket. Um, these rackets were actually produced in 1972 um, and pretty much made through, you know, the 70s, uh, 75, 76. I think they probably stopped making this in the mid to late 70s. Um, look at how small that head size is. Supposedly, this is 73 square inches. The total weight with the strings is 350 grams. A lot of the rackets in this time frame were in that 360 to 370 range. So this was a little rare in that it was lighter. Um, plastic cap right there. So as you can see, Right, they covered it right there. This is also 26.5 inches, so it's not a full size 27. Okay, it is extruded aluminum, as you can see by there. So by extruding it, they keep the aluminum in kind of a natural form to increase the stability and the stiffness. So as you can see, it's kind of a figure eight or a rounded H the way they extrude it. So that helps with, you know, kind of the, the stiffness of the frame. And then this, which is the yoke, is plastic. This ragged has grommets too. So you can see there are plastic grommets in here. No head guard though. Okay. And it looks like it's strung with, back in the day, the nylon string, as you can see with the blue line through it. And it does have power pads. All right. Well, I guess it's time. Well, let's check out this grip real quick, actually. Looks like a four, four and one half here. 
four and one half original leather. It is pretty worn out. I'll show you the bottom. Okay. All right. Well, that's a small, small head. It looks even smaller than the red head. All right. Let's go try it out. See you on the court. Hey, Coach Rob. What's up, Harry? Look what I got. Come on, Harry. That's not the blue head, is it? Have you played with them before? I played with them when I was younger, like, okay. what, 10, 11, maybe 12 years old. I see. Um, so you don't own one of these, just like the red I one. I had a red one that I think visited the uh, tennis uh -oh. Uh -oh. Um, graveyard. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It, it, it went bye bye. So, oh, got it. and I don't think I ever had a blue one. I think the cool kids might have had the blue one, or the better players had the blue one. Interesting. But um, this is, we're going way back. So, <laughs> all um, right, wanna go hit? Let's do it. All right. So we just got off the court, um, master head. <laughs> Do you, when you were playing with it, did it bring back memories? Or? Yes, it did. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Because I had the red head because I wasn't good enough to get the blue head, or the what blue that? head was more expensive. Oh, <laughs> and uh, I, my parents weren't ponying up uh, to get a more expensive racket. Oh, there there was a price difference between Maybe. red and blue? Maybe. I oh. mean, this is the master, right? That's true. It does say master with a piece of paper sticker there. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't know if one was more expensive than the other. I just know. Okay. Um, I don't, maybe was the red one a little bigger head size and this is a little smaller? That's what it looks like, That's what actually. It, yeah. Um, you didn't seem to have a problem hitting it, though. No, I just reminded myself before we before I took the first swing that I better keep my head still or I might whiff. <laughs> so if you were going to compare this to the red, what um, what would be the differences? You know, I, I either the head sizes we'd have to check. Uh, the weights kind of seem similar. They're both made of metal, so mm -hmm. that's probably even. Um, they both have the old uh, leather. leather grip. Um, this one felt like the string tension was tight. Hmm. Um, after all these years, I know that's why was it strong at 70 and now it's 60, I don't, you know, or <laughs> was it strong at 80 and now it's 60. Right, right, right. Um, but it was fun to play with, you know, you got to make sure you hit in the center, you hit it in the center. <laughs> and, um, you know, for all the times when we were serving, um, uh, usually I tease Harry about looking up yeah. on his ground strokes. Well, this time when he was serving, I was hoping he was going to look up so he'd watch the ball. Um, it, it worked on it once we got through. Yeah, a few after, he warm after he told me a few, yeah. I, I was I was like really late on it. Uh, it was a lot to drag. A lot of weight. Uh, yeah, a lot of weight to drag across. Um, but I definitely had to look up and stay up on this one. You couldn't right. cheat. No. On the you on the serve. You were going to drop a whiff. Mm-hmm. And, and Rob called it too. He's like, before I even served my first ball, I was like, watch the whiff. Don't watch it. Yeah, Don't watch out watch for the whiff. The whiff. Don't look for it. Look it, at the it, seams it, in the label. It's like, it, it, it's a lot of weight coming through. So um, you got to be very, very, very careful with this one. But overall, a great racket, you know, for what it is. <laughs> very fun. Actually, I call this the, the modern day reset racket. Like if you're having a bad day, uh, if you're looking at the birds or just not you know, feeling it, uh, maybe just need to whip out one of these and it's going to automatically make you concentrate or else bad things will happen on the court. So just make sure eye on the ball, come through, let the weight kind of finish up for you. I mean, especially if you have a, you know, continental grip like Coach Rob, maybe a semi-west. And, and even on a west, western grip, you're, you're going to have to watch that ball. Like That's tough. Attentively. That would be tough. 
not a lot of strings there to roll across. Mm -mm. Well, you have to hold it longer. You can't just let it let it come up so right. quickly. But yeah, I've this is the first time um, I've seen the blue here. Uh, you've talked about the redhead. We've hit with the redhead. Right. This is the first time I've had a blue. Was, so was yeah. this called a blue head? Yep. It was. That's what at least that's what it was called back when I grew up. Oh, interesting. So this was from my buddy's um, store, Gordon, at uh, Golden State, uh, Golden State tennis shop there in the city. Oh, cool. We'd have to probably look up price to see what maybe what the original yeah, that's true. pricing was. Um, yeah, I don't, I can't remember that far back. So I, I don't remember seeing these on the shelf um, back in my day. All I remember seeing was a lot of Spalding. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Back in my day. So that's why I was always thinking, wow, Spalding. I wish I could get one of those one day. Especially the blue, the blue Spalding. That okay. We did. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Coach Rob, thank you for uh, hanging out with me and playing with the blue head. Thanks um, for bringing back the old memories. Yeah. Also known as the, the master. master. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.